Hi and welcome back to Bloxy. Today we're checking out each header element in detail and you will see what can be accomplished with each element as well as many bonus features. Note that some of these elements might not be available for you if you're using the free version of Bloxy. And enough of that, let's get to the elements. First on our list is the account element. This one lets you give your users easy access to their account page and if they're logged out, an easy way to quickly get in or sign up for an account. Diving deeper into its settings, we find that we can customize both of its states separately. The options available depend on the state because not every option is relevant for both sides. For example, for your lockdown users, you have an option to display a nice login register modal, while for your logged in users, you get access to things such as the profile page, dashboard, and so forth. Of course, other usual Bloxy options are available, such as label device visibility options and the design tab, which lets you easily control the elements designed to your heart's content. There are also some bonuses thrown in for our premium customers, such as capture integration with supported plugins, WooCommerce registration form support, and more. Our documentation has all the information you need for integrating Capture. Continuing, we have the simple button element. Its settings are a little bit different, but you get to design choices, size controls, the button label, action, even an icon control. And with one of our latest updates, we even added the ability to add additional CSS classes to the button, meaning that plugins that require some specific classes to let the user interact with the site will work flawlessly now. No more JavaScript hacks. And of course, you are able to trigger any pop-up created via our content blocks feature. If you need more information on this, feel free to watch the pop-ups introductory video. The cart element will be presented if WooCommerce is installed and activated. This time, you get six design choices and the rest of the usual Bloxy controls. For the cart drawer section, Bloxy Pro users get an additional design type, a side cart view. And a little bonus, you also get quantity controls available for the type two look. The design tab is also easily accessible for all of your customization needs. Contacts is a super easy way to give out your contact information to your visitor. You can add things such as the address of your business, phone numbers, email and more. Pretty useful in a flash. The divider element is pretty self-explanatory. It lets you add a divider design element to separate menu sections where it makes sense. With the HTML block, the fun begins. It lets you add any kind of custom HTML, CSS and JavaScript code and even short codes. Very powerful when in the right hands. The languages element will only be present if Bloxy detects that you have a multilingual plugin installed. Here you get two options for design, as well as icon display choices and the design tab. Simple stuff here. And a logo is important for every website. So that's why this element lets you do just that. Add a logo to your header. Depending on the header features you have enabled, you might see more than one place to upload your logo. You can easily upload different logos for each state of the header, giving you unlimited options, basically. Size controls are a must, so we tick that box here. Sticky state shrink is an interesting option as it lets you make the logo smaller when the header transitions to the sticky position. This lets you compact the header for a broader view of your content. Two more interesting options are available, which let you achieve a super minimalist look for your logo design. You can enable a combination of these two options and completely ignore the logo part. The site's title will be displayed in its place, and of course, it can be customized via the design tab. Move on to the most important element for your header, namely the menu item. Well, three of them, but we'll get to that in a bit. The menu element has a plethora of options from four different and unique designs to menu drop-down settings, 
which affect the dropdowns of the simple and advanced menus. You can customize pretty much anything, from things such as the hover effect of the submenu items, to the animation that it displays, to positioning options. There's also an option to have the menus open on click rather than on hover. The design tab is ready for duty here as well. And in the end, to go back to the multiple menu idea, the pro version of Bloxy lets you have more menu elements displayed at the same time throughout the header and the mobile menu. This lets you achieve some interesting designs if you think about it. Next, we move on to another pretty important part of your header the search elements. The options between them are similar, with the main difference being the type of element that it is. The simple search element will display it as an overlay, while the search box displays a familiar form. The most important setting here to remember is the search through criteria. It lets you select the types of search results you want. You can limit the query to just posts or products important if you have an online shop. And let's not forget that we also offer a live search functionality which displays results in real time as you type, very useful for more dynamic searches. Socials is a simple way to display your social network connections on your header. Super simple to configure with a boatload of network options. Social network accounts can be added via the customizer, general, social network accounts section. And if you check out our documentation, you'll be able to find out how to add your own custom social network if our options do not fit your bill. The trigger, an interesting little fella. Remember that we've talked about more menu elements. Well, for Bloxy Pro users, we offer the mobile menu type to streamline navigation throughout your website or even offer an interesting off-canvas sidebar type of design because you can even add widgets to it. The same rules as the mobile off canvas menu apply here, so watch our other tutorial on this topic. Speaking of widgets, the widget area element will let you display any kind of widget. It even works with the new Gutenberg widget system, so you can display anything you might think of. And finally, the wishlist element lets you couple the wishlist functionality of Bloxy with your header. Easy access for your users with the Bloxy touch. If you need any more information on the wishlist feature, hop on over to watch the video on our channel. And we think that covers it all. Hopefully this video has helped clear up how each element of our header builder works. We're constantly evolving Bloxy, so your feedback always matters. Drop by creativethemes.com if you need anything and we'll be ready to help. And also make sure to check out our other videos on our channel to find out more about Bloxy. Until next time, take care.